crafty friends it's tiffany and i want to welcome you to our second and final week of our christmas in july collaboration hosted by crafty michelle here on youtube this was a fun collab and i'm so sad that this is the last week but i really had fun and i enjoyed watching all the videos and seeing everyone's beautiful projects all the women in this collaboration are so talented and amazing and i'm so happy to be a part of this with them so this week i decided to do some 3d projects um no dyes um i did use dyes to like decorate but to actually make the project i didn't use dyes because i thought this would be a nice way for people who you know don't have a lot of dyes or maybe can't afford to get those dimensional um dyes that there are so many tutorials on youtube that you can find and you can make like amazing things so the first project I made is this here and this project I found uh, through Bambi Deer who is Amber here I think her name is Amber here on YouTube Bambi Deer I just found her this year like not too long ago and I love all her projects super easy super easy to follow and those are the type of tutorials that I love to watch and uh, recreate so I call this like the goody tower I, I don't know if that's what she called it or something else but I just you know it's a goodie tower so what it is is it's a box but when you open it so the lid and you have four pockets here see and so you can put a lot of different things in here um, I made some rosettes so this you know this is good um, it's not, it's not flat mill, obviously, but if, you know, you're sending something to, you know, a, a swap partner or just happy mail, um, you can, you know, put it in a box or if you're doing like a medium flat rate box swap, this could definitely fit in there as well. It's, you know, I put some Hershey Kisses. You can put, I mean, you can put a whole bunch of things in here. Sequin mixes. I made some flowers and these are just some candies I got from Hawaii when I went home. But yeah, this is, I thought it was going to be hard to make, but it was super easy. And um, hers, what she did is she made a closure here, which is optional, but it doesn't have to serve any purpose. It's just for decoration because the top is what, you know, closes the box and it's fine and it sits fine. So I didn't want to do that. Um, I decorated it instead. I used a coffee cup die. So let me see if I pulled the dies here. Oh, and I did. So for this here, the bow, I used my um, Julian Vance bow die. And for the cup, I just had these cups in my stash and that was the first one I pulled out and it surprisingly fit. So I used that. And then this is my flower die here. It's a layering flower die from my stash and that's what I used there. And these leaves are from Hobby Lobby. It was just something I guess I bought last year. I don't know where the package went but they came in a pack of maybe like 12 and so i just stuck them in the back and i used some trim the trim I, it was just from my stash i recently um, haul, um not hauled but um i purchased a d stash from um, gina here on youtube and so this is one of the trims that were um in the trim collection i bought a bunch of trim from her and so yeah i pretty much kept it simple the collection the paper collection is that um Sugar Blush Collection from Michaels, the hot buy that they had, um, I don't know how many years ago, but it was this one here. So I used this collection for that. And yeah, I think it turned out really cute. So, you know, like I said, it does, um, the candy does make it a little heavy, but not too bad. These are not heavy at all. These are super light, but the Hershey Kisses, Maybe are a little heavy, but even these, it kind of brings it down, but it doesn't because you can still close it. Like it doesn't weigh it down too much. See, and you can still close it up real, real nice. So, and there you go. So that's project number one, which I really, really love. Next project is this here, and this is cute. This is a, it's like an accordion bag, I guess you could say. And you can use it for different things 
What I'm going to use it for is um, I'm in a die cut swap, a Christmas in July die cut swap. So Christmas theme and I'm going to put my die cuts inside the pockets. And this tutorial was from Brittany BB's Crafts here on YouTube. And so this is a recent tutorial and I saw that and it just looks super cute. And again, super easy to follow. Exactly what I want. No dies needed to make the bag. I did use a bow die here and a die for the skate. But other than that, everything else, you know, you don't, all you need is like your scoreboard, scissors, your type of adhesive, paper trimmer, and embellishments and you're good to go. So with this here, I made a closure. Um, I did um, tweak a little bit of the measurements. Um, her measurement, her straps are a little thicker. I cut mine down to three quarters instead of an inch. And then the closure, I also made it thinner. I didn't want it um, too thick. I think I shaved off about a quarter of an inch as well. So, but you, like I said, once you get the measurements or you, you you know, you find some tutorial, you can tweak it to however fits your need. So what it is, is you open it up and it's an accordion. There's four pockets. And then in each pocket, it's like a file, which is, we use a five by five sheet of paper and it's made into a file. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my um, like washi tape, for example, washi tape, and I'm gonna get my clear bags and I'm gonna put the die cuts and I'm just gonna like, do it like a waterfall, so to speak, or maybe I can put two, depending how small the die cuts are, and I'm just gonna put them in here on top of each file, and that's gonna be how I give my um, my die cuts to my swap partner. And because they're so big and they expand, you can put so much in here. And it's not just die cuts, I mean, you could use this as an embellishment bag or an embellishment book. So to speak, um, you can put sequence mixes in here. I mean, anything. It's just super cute for Happy Mail, for your swaps, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. So I really like this bag. Super easy to make. Less than 20 minutes, I think. I did the first one. I made. Uh, I made a mistake. I always keep like you know, scrap paper or like junk. Like sometimes I go through my papers and like there's a pad that I might not like too much or certain pages I don't like. And those are the ones I use sometimes when I first, you know, follow someone's tutorial because usually I do something wrong, like I score it wrong or I cut it wrong. And so I don't like cutting it to my cute paper until I know for sure, you know, I got it down correctly. And so I did mess up the first one and I altered the measurements and I made this the handbag an inch longer also. So I like the size of this and I like the way that looks. But like I said, you can um, follow her tutorial and tweak it however you want. I'm sure you can even make the bag bigger if you wanted to, like wider. But I, I think it's a perfect size. It's a good size. The collection, the paper collection I used for this is... This one here. This is another hot buy. I can't remember when I purchased this, but um, let me put this to the side. Super cute paper collection. The cocoa cups, the buffalo plaid. That's the sweater material. I use that paper. I use that one for the straps. And it has these cut aparts too. You just like take it out, see like that. So you have those. So I use the, um, I use two, I use the presents. So I have one left and I use the stocking, which I have one left there. And that's how I um, layered here. And then I put some snowflakes in the back and use some foam tape to make it very um, dimensional. And so <clears throat> let's just go on. So all these papers, really cute. I really love this paper collection. I love the cut apart. So again, these are the ones that I used. And then for the bow, I used my pink and main bow dye. I used the large and medium. So I used the large 
and the medium. The medium I just used the bow part because I layered it. Then I used the tails. And then I just found, when I was going through my Christmas dies, I found this skate die. It came with these snowflakes. And so I just cut it out in some silver foil paper, then some pink glittered paper for the bottom and the snowflake there. And that's it. So I only use really two dies for this project. And this one here, I use one, two, three. Three dies. So, you know, it's um, a pretty easy. I mean, you can use whatever type of holiday dies you have to dress it up. Or you don't even need to use any dies. You can just use cutouts, e ephemera. You know, you can make your own ephemera. Anything, anything. You can decorate it however you want. But, yeah, so these are my projects. I hope you all enjoy. Like I said, please um, check out the ladies in this collab. I'm going to have their links down below. Also, um, if you want to um, join this collab, I'm going to leave um, the hashtag down below, which is Crafty Xmas in July. And so you can um, use that hashtag and then we can see what you created. Hope you all have a wonderful Saturday, an amazing weekend. Happy Christmas in July. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.